Hi friends, I hope you're having a lovely day today. Uh, very quickly, my dog is directly below here. And if you hear a squealing sound, I have stepped on my dog. I wanted to create a quick video where I talk about my recent experience with my first wildfire. Now, it was a small wildfire. In Utah, there are wildfires everywhere at this point in the year. It's very dry, it's like a big tinder box. And when July 4th comes around, and also July 24th, which is where I, uh, where I went out and found this fire, 24th is Pioneer's Day in Utah, look it up. Oh yeah, it's exciting stuff. I think it was like, I think it was when the state was found. I forget, I haven't been here long enough. Fireworks go off uh, on both of those occasions and the fire department's on high alert. Lots of fires happen. I, I decided I would go out into the, uh, the soup of smoke that is the valley. It's like a bowl. It just collects all the smoke from the fireworks and see if I can come across some fires. Well, I, <laughs> I very quickly came across this small brush fire that was in a field right outside of a neighborhood and proceeded to park my car and then I, I drove into the neighborhood first pro tip if you're taking photos of emergencies if you're like an emergency hunter like me do not park in situations where your vehicle may be compromised by a fire hose it can happen one time I my car got trapped by the fire hose I believe uh, I hear that they will put them through your windows. I hear that they will move your car via their larger car if they need to. Bad things can happen. So I parked across the street. Luckily, I came across this fire when it had just started. The people in the neighborhood were hanging out. They said it, it just happened and there were no emergency services there yet. This is utopia for me because rarely do you get somewhere before the emergency services do so i was able to actually capture the fire truck the single fire truck that came to fight this small fire pulling up and what i decided to do from a from a compositional photographic standpoint was i wanted to get the fire and the truck pulling up in the shot to create context the fire alone would in would not have been as interesting to me and the truck alone would not have been as interesting. So putting them together created this nice uh, context for what was going on and in turn created a picture I'm very, very happy with. They pulled up, started fighting the fire. I then proceeded to hover around them and try to find interesting shots as I always do. One shot I captured was of a firefighter in mid stride with the hose, it, with the fire in the background. He was setting up to fight the fire and the way that this photo came together was through some luck and through some serendipity and through, as always, my ability to, to use the talent that I built over time to capture this moment in a compelling way. It was very important to me that I captured his body in an intriguing expression, uh, and this happened to be one, this little number right here. The hose trailing across the scene had a very intriguing effect to it and the fire in the background created a nice sense of context once again. One of the best things about shooting emergency situations at night is that you get the lights from the vehicle. In this case, this worked out really well with a nice stream of red light going down the back of the firefighter. If that light was not there, this photo would not have passed the editing process for me. A few seconds later, I captured the firefighter actually fighting the fire. Once again, hose trailing across the frame, emergency lights on the foreground elements, and then the fire once again to create context. This whole time I was shooting at f1.8 at a very slow shutter speed, uh, probably a little bit higher ISO in order to capture the scene effectively. This is where a good fast lens comes in handy. Throughout the situation, I'm capturing in, in small bursts in order to try to capture the, the best expression of the people and the all of the elements coming together. I hovered around, captured a few more photos. I also paid very close attention throughout this situation to what the light was doing, where it was, where it wasn't. Will this shot work? This was a very quick serendipitous situation that started with me deciding to leave the house and just go out for the small chance of finding something. Uh, the, the, the 
percentage level of something interesting happened went up just a little bit and I said I'm gonna go see if I can find something I particularly I'm going to put myself in a position where if, if I'm gonna go to the top of the valley where I can look over the valley if there's a fire I can see what's going on I didn't even have to go to the top of the valley <laughs> this time serendipity when the situation came and moved quick and I was ready with my settings which is incredibly important know your camera that is it. If there's anything else that I can elaborate on in this video, please feel free to engage with me. I will be happy to engage with with you. I guess that would be an outward motion. Thank you so much for watching. Stay not on fire. Have a good day.